Welcome to Credit Matters. My name is Anne Charlotte Peterson and I'm a Senior Director in the Recovery Team. I'm joined today by John Moore, Associate Director in the High Tech Group, to talk about our current assessment of First Data's credit and maturity profile. Earlier this month, First Data came to the market with both First Lien notes and a term loan. As a result of this, as well as previous transactions over the past year, the company has reduced the amount of its term loan due in 2014 to 250 million from 13 billion. John, what's your current assessment of the company's business and financial risk profile? Uh, First Data maintains a leading market position in um, uh, payment processing markets, including a dominant share in U.S. merchant processing markets. Um, and we have a, a strong business risk profile for the company. At the same time, we view the company's finan financial risk profile as highly levered. The, the company has, um, as of uh, June 30th, uh, about 10 times leverage, including uh, Holdco pick notes. Um, and considering the company's exposure to slow-growing um, domestic card-issuing markets, um, European markets, um, its interest burden, and its free cash flow prospects, we don't expect there to be uh, much in the way of leverage reduction uh, for the coming 12 months. Now, given these uh, recent refinancing transactions, what's the state of First Data's current maturity profile? First Data has refinanced what was uh, its biggest maturity, its, its $13 billion term loan due 2014 down to about 250 million with mm -hmm. all of these transactions. Um, and so by doing so, it stretched its average debt maturities out two years from 2014 to 2016. Um, but it hasn't made any meaningful uh, debt reduction um, since its 2007 LBO, which was one of the biggest of, of, uh, of record. Um, the company still has sizable um, maturities in 2015, including um, expensive uh, senior and sub-debt. And it also has um, uh, uh, hold co notes that will continue to pick until they're refinanced. Okay, thanks. Now, given these transactions, uh, has there been any changes in the recovery ratings for First Data? Well, with these transactions, because no debt is being repaid and there, uh, no debt is uh, being migrated between levels of the capital structure, our recovery ratings, and we have no change to our business outlook, our recovery ratings remain unchanged. In this particular instance, do covenants play a role? The company has only one financial maintenance covenant in its credit facility, and that's a secured debt to EBITDA covenant that includes management's estimated cost saves, and there's significant room under that covenant. It was about 36% cushion mm -hmm. uh, as of June, and we think it'll, it'll maintain a uh, cushion there. Um, there are also various lien restrictions under um, the different indentures, uh, bond indentures that the company has that we think offer um, credit protection, mm -hmm. particularly if um, the company considers, again, um, pursuing a secured for unsecured debt exchange. Thank you, John. And thank you for joining us today on Credit Matters. For more information on our assessment of First Data's credit and maturity profile, please click on the Related Content tab next to this video.